Hey, what's going on, everybody? It's your man, Chris Thorns. As always, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you watch my content, and as always, like, comment, subscribe, and share. I got a story I want to bring to y'all attention, so uh, let's get into it right now. All right, guys, uh, welcome to the show. I'm your host, Chris Thorns. Hey, listen, uh, like I always tell y'all, you know, it's one thing that when I do these stories, um, uh, let the mothers be the one that be doing the stuff to their children. But I, like I always tell y'all, it hits different from for me when the fathers do the D, dirty deeds to their own children. We got a man by the name of Chris Greger, whom they're saying he's being accused of, killed his son. His son's name is Corey. I can't pronounce his last name, so I ain't going to even try it who allegedly supposed to have killed his son by forcing him to run on the treadmill, all right? And as the story says that um, as he had him doing this, the mom notices that the boy had bruising and things on his body and all kinds of stuff. And Chris is trying to say that his mom coached him into saying he was abused or whatnot but you know we'll get out get into all that in a minute uh just like the video said this is a uh, graphic content where to me it didn't seem that graphic to me you know but i guess uh it's just giving a warning to people who may be watching it so i'm going to give you a warning too um hopefully you two don't flag for the Asian because i don't think it's nothing that bad that they should flag for but if i do get flagged you hey i'm gonna take one for the team but anyway guys i want you to take a look at this video right here Mm. Whoa, 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 whoa. Why are you being so aggressive with him, bro? Oh, wow. Then he turned up the speed on her. What the fuck? Wow. Wow.
All right, guys. So, uh, showing you that, you know, I, I I would say that was pretty interesting that I showed you that. Um. Okay, let me say this before I just really get deep into the story. Now, look, I don't m mind, you know, parents who put their children on treadmill, things like that, you know, because uh, you know a lot of our parents are about, you know, getting they, keeping their children in shape and things like that. So, you know. Uh, when I initially saw this, I didn't see no issue with it. What got me was is how aggressive he was being with him with, it. you know, when the boy fell off and how he grabbed him the way that he did. The way that he did that is if he's doing this for punishment, you know, but punishment for what? You know, what made him get so aggressive with the young fella about this treadmill? Then on top of that, you know, you could tell by the body language of the dad, you know, he was upset about something or he was just doing this or getting some kind of gratification out of it and watching his son doing this. And you turned up the speed on. I mean, for goodness sakes, this is a six year old child. He don't know anything about a treadmill, you know. Now, it'd be one thing, you know, if he start him off at one speed, then probably gradually speed it up to see uh, if the boy can run it. Maybe they'd be different. Okay, but for what we gather from this video right here, you know, it's like it was instant speed mode. But why? You know, and again, the way he picked him up off the ground and was forcing him back on it, you know, and the way he was leaning on the treadmill, you know, looking at him as he ran. And then you see at the end how the dad walked off. He walked off as, as he, if he was disgusted about what happened. Okay. Now, looking at how the boy was falling, I can't say if any of the bruising came from that or whatnot. Who knows? Okay. But y'all know how our bodies work. You know, at the moment, we probably don't see it or feel it. But later on throughout that day, we will feel the effects of what we did uh, earlier that day. What if it's lifting something, running, walking? Trust me, I know, you know, because I'd have been plenty of time while I walked. And I didn't feel the effects of it right then and there. But later on throughout the day, you know, you start feeling this shit, you know. And it's probably what happened to this boy. Because looking at the video, you probably be like, okay, well, the fall didn't look, that, didn't look that harmful. But, you know, that just looking at the video. We not hearing how hard that thump was when he hit that floor, you know, or anything like that, you know. And we didn't see anything about him falling down and he hit his head. I don't, I don't think I, I don't see where he hit his head and thing like that so you know but then again seeing it on video and being there on person it, it'd be a totally different thing it's just like a boxing match they say watch it on tv that's one thing but when you right there in person and listen to that shit they say it's something totally different you know it, you could they sound like two bulls up in there you know it just it, it's crazy and i guess it's like a wrestling match too you know you see it on tv you will see one thing but be there in person It'd be something totally different, you know? So, wow, that, that is crazy, you know? But, but, my, but again, my thing is, you know, how hateful or how he was picking him up off the floor as if he was disgusted with him about something, you know? But let's read a little bit into it uh, see what it says. So, I guess he's on trial now for this. This happened back in 2021. And the title said, accused killer... Uh, New Jersey dad, Christopher Gregor, who forced his son to run on treadmill, claimed he claimed his ex coached the boy to lie about the abuse. Okay? And it goes on to say as follows. A New Jersey dad charged with killing his six-year-old son by forcing him to a bruising treadmill workout claimed his estranged ex coached the boy into lying about his alleged abuse. Christopher Gregor, 31, told a state child services worker that little Corey I, I don't know how to say that. M I it's spelled M I C C I O L O. Uh, re, say he returned from a scheduled visit with his mom on April the second, twenty twenty one. Okay, hold on, let me pause this for a minute. Cause I thought I I put a do not disturb on there, but it still come across my screen. So let me put do not disturb. All right. Sorry about that. That's, that's my phone notification going through my computer. Sorry about that. Um, where, where was I? Okay, he returned from a scheduled visit with his mom on April the 2nd of 2021 and confessed she coached him into 
lying just out before battered youngster was pronounced dead at the local hospital. Okay. Okay, what the hell? Is stuff still going? Is still just going to come in like that? All right, hold up. Sorry about that. Okay. Um, yeah, he told the state child service the worker that little Corey returned from his scheduled video with his mom on April the second, two thousand twenty-one, and confessed she coached him into lying. So he claimed the the, the the mom confessed to coaching him to lie. Just an hour before the battle, youngster was pronounced dead at the local hospital. Uh, it goes on to say, my son came back this morning. He was saying that his mom said that he had to tell the doctor that I hit him. Gregor told the child abuse hotline staffer Richard, according to a recording play at the accused killer dad murder trial Thursday, which was yesterday. Uh, then it goes on to say he came home and one of the first two things he said was, I don't want to go with mom anymore. She's going to try to take me away from you, Gregor said. And he also said mom told me to lie and I had to. The call was made shortly after 10 a.m. that day and Corey was pronounced dead at 5 p.m. Uh, Cicerone, I guess, C-I-C-E-R-O-N-E, -E, testified on the third day of Gregor's murder trial in Superior, in Superior Court in Ocean County, disturbing Vegas video from the Atlanta Heights Clubhouse Fitness Center on March 20, 2021, shows Gregor forcing Corey onto a treadmill because he allegedly thought he was too fat. Wow, really? Really? The boy fell six times out the, out the Failing to keep up with the speedy treadmill, with Gregor picking him up and throwing him back on the tread on the track, the video shows Corey's mom, Brianna, Brianna, took the youngster to a pediatrician on April the first. After she said she noticed bruises on her son and returned him to Gregor at one a.m. on April the second. Oh, you returned him to him, okay? Uh, Gregor made the call to New Jersey Division of Child Protection, and uh, later that morning. Around 4 p.m., he took Corey to Southern Ocean County Medical Center in Stafford after the boy was slurring his speech, slumbing, slumbling, and vomiting, according to authorities. He was pronounced dead an hour later. Gregor was initially charged with child neglect in the case, but the charges were up to murder. But autopsy determined Corey died from sepsis and severe internal injury and ruled to death a homicide. All right. Um, let me look at something real quick. Okay, but I looked that word up. It says uh, when the body has an extreme response to an infection. This response can damage the body tissues or organs and can lead to septic shock or organ failure and death if not treated early. Sepsis can affect anyone but it, but people who are older, very young, pregnant, or have other health problems are at higher risk and it's caused by bacterial poisoning the blood and most... Oh, wow. Okay. Oh, wow. That's that's wow. Okay, and he had severe. Okay, that that okay, that will be where the severe turn of injury will come from. Then, according to the sepsis, sepsis definition I just read, or sepsis, how you say that damn word, from what I read, uh, Gregor and Brianna were embroiled in a bit of custody. Oh, there you go. I told y'all the, the custody battles is the custody battles. They be doing it. They was in the custody dispute when the boy died. The defense attorney, Mario, told the jury during the opening statement that Corey's death was consistent with pneumonia and said the boy also uh, played football and roughed house with friends. Um, as a matter of fact, the treadmill incident was on March 20. He told jurors, and between March 20 and April 2, Corey spent a significant amount of time with Brianna, spent a significant amount of time with Chris Wade, actually tried out for flag football team here in Ocean. Um, 
I submit to you those bruises did occur from the treadmill. Okay, they did occur from the treadmill. Uh, wait a minute. I submit to you those bruises did occur from the treadmill. They occurred from football. Okay, they try. I get to try to say they didn't occur from the treadmill. They occurred from football. They occurred from boys being boys, he said. Prosecutors, however, contend that the fatal injuries stem from the heart-breaking workout. Okay. Well, when you look at this and you see the sepsis word, uh, sepsis, however however you say it, y'all know I'm I'm bad with pronouncing words. When you read this story and you see that word, and when I just look at the definition of that word, you know, it's come come from an illness. You know, now it's kind of hard to decipher, you know, what really causes this boy death. You know, it could be two and one, you know, for what the dad did to him. And for this illness he's supposed to be suffering from, you know. Um, but however, though, you know, a lot of times with these cases, the videos is telltale. And again, I just like I said, I the, the thing about him making around the treadmill wasn't my issue with it. It's what what he was doing to him. He was forcing him to run it, you know. And how he got mad when the boy fell off. The treadmill, I he jacked him up like that. That's where it, it was a problem for me. And again, it showed me that he was doing this out of anger. He was doing this for discipline, and he was doing this in an abusive manner to this boy. And again, at the end, the way y'all seen the dad walk off, that was a telltale sign too. You know, that he was mad at his boy about something. What it was, who knows? You know. So that right there. It's probably really what's getting him in trouble is that video right there and how he was being aggressive with the boy. And that's why they make a claim saying that, you know, this is the reason why he died, you know, due to uh, bruises coming from the treadmill or whatnot, you know. So, um, and then dealing with this sickness that they are uh, saying or this illness that he's supposed to have, okay. Um, now, they say the symptoms of this is a fever, low temperature, and shivering, confusion, difficulty breathing, clammy and sweaty skin, extreme body pain or discomfort, high heart rate, weak pulse or low blood pressure, low urine output, change in mental status, fast, shallow breathing, sweating for no clear reason, feeling lightheaded. And it could take as little as 12 hours to develop from the earliest signs of infection to organ failure and death. If you are fighting an infection and know that these systems, you should go to the emergency room or call 911. You should also see a doctor if you had these system, excuse, excuse me, symptoms without known infection. Wow, poor little boy. They, they don't make, oh man, you know, this is crazy, man, that these children, uh, what these children go through. And I told y'all who the biggest bullies. It's the parents. It started at home a lot of times. The biggest, the biggest bullies are the parents at home. And what is seen in that video, it looked like this man's dad was just straight up bullying him on that treadmill. Now, again, I can't say if that's the cause of his death, but according to what they're saying right here in this uh, video, you know, for what his attorney is defending, that it didn't come from that, and the bruises came from him playing sports, you know. So, wow, again, Poor fella, poor fella, poor fella. And I will leave it with saying this right here. It is coming to this time now. What is seen, what's going on is now the children are hating them parents and doing things to the parents and hurting and killing the parents. And the parents are hating their own children and doing the same thing to their children, what the children are now doing to the parents. Again, we got stories now that 10-year-olds are killing adults and killing their parents. All right, something has to change, and it has to change real soon, real, real soon. Okay, all right, guys. Um, wow, did this this crazy? Yeah, let me know what y'all think about this, and uh, I will see y'all next time. Thanks for listening.